Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. On today's episode, you already know we're gonna hit up Norwalk Auto Auction. Today's a Tuesday, so we're gonna go there. I have probably six cars in mind that I wanna go ahead and check out. So let's get started and uh, let's hit the road so we can get there soon. Today we're taking out the RX350. Been driving the car for about two, 300 miles now. Everything runs great. The, all, the, all that good stuff going. All right, let's start heading out. For today we have I believe so check it out last night i went and checked the list we got two lexus two toyotas a honda crv that we want to take a look at and i saw this audi a3 i think it was a wagon but it has some bbs forge wheels on it um we're gonna go ahead and check it out the audi had like 120 so maybe we can do something about it if we get a good deal on it but anyways we're probably 20 minutes out from the auction but let's get today started see you guys in a bit Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. So let's not forget to put the face mask on too. Oh yeah. All right. Our favorite spot to go is on Tuesday mornings right here, the money maker. Let's go inside, see if we can find some good deals today. So we just pulled up right now. Look at all these nice Toyotas we got going on today. Unfortunately, we can't, I can't really afford any of these newer cars. So we got to stick with the old cars until we get enough money. So we can start flipping these uh, new ones. Look at this cam, this blue color is nice. We got this TRD Sport over here. I'm gonna show you guys a little quick around. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the, the cars that I've been looking at on the list since last night. So let's go ahead and check out. Ooh, we got an RC down here too. All right, dang, this one's nice. This is the one I saw 15 with 48 on it. But it's not F Sport, but it has a it has a decent wheels on it. There's the GS right here. We got the nice Corollas. I think all these are like more of the newer cars. We got more of the used cars over here. Let's go find the ones that we're looking at today. Like I said, we're looking at two Toyotas, uh, an Audi, two Lexus, and a Honda CRV. Let me let me go see if we can find the Honda CRV over here. Oh, I think we found it. And I brought my little OBD2 scanner thing too. So we're gonna plug it into the car, make sure it runs good. This is the one right here. So here we have a 2011 Honda CRV. I believe this is just the EX model. It has 131 on it. We're gonna go ahead and check the exterior condition of it. They don't have the keys inside, so we're gonna go ahead and ask them for the key in a bit. I'm just showing you guys a quick run around of the car. Tags are still good into January. Okay, let's go get the keys for it. I'll be right back. So back then they used to have all the keys inside the car, but I guess now that more, uh, more theft of people stealing keys is happening. So they just leave the keys in one van over here. We had to go basically leave our um, badge, bitter badge number as collateral in order to get the keys to check out the car. Uh, it does suck, but yeah, sometimes bad people will ruin it for everybody else. Look at all the keys they got going on over here. Alrighty guys, so we got the key to one of the Lexus. We don't know if this is the correct one, but it is parked right here. We're gonna see. It's not working. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely isn't the right one. The Lexus IS over there, we got a couple cars that we're gonna check on this lot number one. Basically, this is all like the dealer's car. So first things first is this Audi. This is all, I forgot to show you guys all the information. 11 Audi with 121, is an A3. I believe this is the gas model. Look at these wheels. Nice BBS Forge, nice interior. Uh, TFSI, so I don't wanna get a diesel. I think believe, I think, believe this is a gas car, so. Be good second car we're gonna look at is this 13 lexus hybrid with 152 on it there's a white color nice exterior it doesn't have any navi or anything though which is kind of shitty 
but on the plus side is a white color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at both these cars right now. And uh, we're gonna plug in the OBD2 scanner, make sure the car runs good. But I got both keys here. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Ooh, nice interior too. So after inspecting this CT, this is a hybrid right here. Uh, it has an O2 sensor, low bank one, I believe. Popped up the code, has loads down the fender, but it has 152, so it's pretty much expected to have some sort of uh, maintenance needs to be done to it. Uh, clean engine bay. We're basically gonna go ahead and return the key, see if we can get the key for the CRV over there. And check it out, this one has no place, so hopefully it's not out of state, but overall the car looks good. So we're gonna go try and get this one today. Let's see, let's see how it turns out. Does the alarm work? No, it doesn't. Okay, probably need to change the alarm or the battery on the alarm. All right, and this one, it has a camshaft position sensor, 11 A3 with a 4 BBS. We'll see what deal we can get on this one today. But so far, I like the condition, overall condition of this one. The interior looks nice on both cars and the paint looks pretty nice. So this is the S line. I did find out this is a gasoline model, so we don't, I don't want to deal with the, the diesels, even though some people would say diesels run better, but we're just gonna go with the gasoline ones. So let's uh, return the keys and try to look at that CRV over there. Okay, so we got another key, but this one has a bunch of question marks on it. It was hanging on the bottom of the board. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this one belongs to the IS, the white one. I really wanna take a look at that one, but uh, let's go check it out, see if this is the right key for it. Mm -hmm, nothing, nothing worse on this thing so far. Alrighty guys, so no freaking luck. The key does not work. I don't know where the key could be. Maybe another manager has it or something. It was, they're telling me there's another lot manager that could he could probably hold it because the car came late this morning. But uh, we're gonna try to see if we can find him and try to locate the key because I really want to check out that CRV and that white Lexus. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, as you guys can tell, freaking sweating my ass off out here. But guess what? We bought the CRV key. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Hopefully it runs good because I ain't trying to take any more L's this year. The only L's I'm trying to take is all the Lexus, baby. Sheesh, don't tell anyone though. All right, clean interior. Uh, let's go ahead and the lights. Okay, I mean, that's good so far. So check it out. I'm gonna do a little review on this a little later. But I bought this online. It's called the Blue Driver, OBD2 Bluetooth scanner. And this thing works really well because it actually reads the whole system module. Because uh, I thought about it, I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna buy an OBD2 scanner one time to use, I might as well just get a good one, you know? So we went with that. Let me show the AC works. It's kind of starting to blow cold right now. Uh, needs gas, as always. But everything else on the car looks good. Clean interior, super clean. It's like ready to sell almost for a used car obviously it's not like show line but yeah clean interior let's go check the system real quick what's happening so we don't have a yeah alrighty guys so i plugged in the obd2 scanner for this one and it only came up one code i believe it's something to do with the camshaft position sensor so we're gonna go ahead and uh see if we can get a good deal on it if not then uh we'll just move on to the next one all right now we're gonna go ahead and return the key guys good news so we got the key for the 09 lexus we're gonna go ahead and check this bad boy out that's the low oil oh no i'm not too exactly sure but not showing anything on the dipstick barely right there on the first dot but we're gonna go ahead and start it up anyways Just... I believe this is probably like the AC fan or something. Door panels are pretty much shot. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, the car is there, but something to do. That's weird. Something with the AC probably made some noise. See, see if the AC works. All right, it went away right now. So the tags are still good in September till next year. So that's good. So I don't have to do anything to it. Tires are still in decent condition. It just has took a lot of miles on it. 206,000 on the 09, but it's a white color. So we'll see how much this one goes for today. And we'll see if we can get it. So on this side, when people are standing outside, they're basically a dealer brought them in. The only way you can go inside is actually if you are a dealer or you represent the dealer. So the only entrance is we literally just got to walk all the way around to the front side over here. Okay, so the cars that we're looking at today is pretty late in the show. We're barely on number uh, like 60. And the cars that we're looking at is at least like 140, 130. So we're going to be chilling out here for a little bit until it gets closer. And then we're going to go inside because uh, a lot better sitting down inside. All right, quick recap of what we're trying to look at today. The Audi, Lexus, I mean, they're like, honestly, they're so, so, so I'm not really looking forward to that one. The CRV for sure. Where did it go? The CRV, and I really want to take a look at that, uh, the Lexus, the IS, when it rolls through those two cars. I think we'll do well. Let's see. Here's the IS. It's going to be run 2132. And then the CRV is 2145. So we got a long way to just hang around and chill for a bit. All right, you guys, so I got to go somewhere cool, little quiet, give you guys a little update. So the 09 Lexus IS, uh, I couldn't get it because it was too expensive. I think it sold for like 5,500, which is way so expensive for like a 200,000 mile car. And then the Honda CRV, I couldn't get it. I was at 6,500. The other guy went to 66 and uh, I just didn't want to go no, 67. It was just a little bit too much. My max on it when I calculated was around 6,000. So what I've done before in the past was I overbid it and I kind of got my ass chewed. So basically uh, whatever price I write down is what I'm gonna stick to it. And um, some days you come and you get some deals and some days you don't. So it's just how it works. But we'll be back on Thursday and next week and see if we can get some more deals for you guys. All right, stay tuned. Jeff, they want uh, 29 grand, buddy. Jeff, give it 28, give it 28, give it 28, give it Offer 28 pounds in there. Six. Give it that. Offer 38. 201. Two. Just quick little recap on that Audi A3, that little sports wagon. The max I wanted to go on is probably about 4,900, 5,000, but they went all the way to like 56, 5,700. So we're gonna go ahead and pass on that one. A little bit too much. And then, uh, all right, we made it to the other side of the street. But anyways, let me continue. The 13 Lexus CT Hybrid that needed the O2 sensor. That one, uh, max I wanted to go on it was about 71. I mean, I kind of overbid, which I told myself not to do, but I went up to 73. And they wanted me to put it on offer at least 75 because they wanted 8500 for that one because 85 is probably like the private market on the outside so we went ahead and uh pass on that one too most likely it's going to just run on thursday again all right i mean at least we still have this bad boy right we're trying to sell it this week i got three people to hit me up so far and uh i posted it up for 8500 which is a reasonable price for the car 
quick little update on the 2013 Lexus Hybrid. So I was walking out towards my car and basically uh, the guy, the auctioneer, he came out and he was like, hey, we'll just take your offer at 7300 So I came back and I gave him my bidder badge number and they put me into the system for the car for 7300 So we're waiting for the call, maybe today, maybe, I think by tomorrow, they should give me the call whether they accept it or counter. Most likely they're gonna counter because they told me they want at least 85. They want 85 to sell it. So if they sell it for 73, great. Maybe I'll bump it up for a few hundred bucks, but I, that car, I think we can sell it outside for maybe, I think like 9,000 to be honest with you. Like 992 for a quick sale. Well, I'm sitting inside the AC. I'm gonna show you guys real quick on what we bid today. 13 CT200, 152 on the odometer. It's a guaranteed car. So we're back at Norwalk on the following day. This is a Wednesday. So I got the call. We got accepted for the 13 CT200, the hybrid that we made offer for yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and get the keys right now from the security guards. And then we're gonna go pick up the car. Hopefully it's still in the back over here somewhere. Went ahead and got the key. There's only one of them. So I still currently have this one. Someone left a deposit on it yesterday. So hopefully he said he's gonna come by today or tomorrow to come pick it up. But let's go into the other lot, pick up the car. Alrighty guys. Here we have the car. Okay. So let me go ahead and just check the fluids real quick. Yeah, it's like a brand new oil or fresh oil, man. Coolant. Everything's so good. Okay, so there's no plates on here. Yeah, I think I might need to take the plate off the front for um, the Lexus. So we can go ahead and put it on here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I have a check engine, but uh, I licked it at yesterday. It was just for the O2 sensor, so nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and start driving home. All right, so here is the O2 sensor we're gonna go ahead and replace. It's made by Denso. This one cost me 130 bucks. This is all we need right here. I had one of my friend, Mikey, he, I used to go to school with him and basically he got into the mechanic works and I got the OBD2 right here, the new uh, sensor. Uh, he went to O'Reilly's real quick to grab a tool because right down here is, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, let me see if I can zoom in. There's a collar around it. So he can't put his regular wrench around it. He has a tool at home, but O'Reilly's is a lot closer to here than his home. So he's gonna go pick up the tool. It's gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and replace it. Okay, so we just swapped it in right now. This is the old sensor, it's pretty beat up. So we're gonna go ahead and drive the car for about 30, 40 miles. So let the computer reset. Hopefully that should be the case. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the smoke check. All right, we just got the smoke check done. Ready to go sell the car. We're back at Norwalk. We're gonna go ahead and pick up three titles. They got it ready for us. So let's go get that done. Walked in, grabbing three titles and that got great news. One of them, they actually wrote me a check. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't wanna show you guys all the information, but $506, they wrote me a check for one. Of, I don't know why, but uh, I ain't gonna complain though. But uh, yeah, we got three titles today. We're gonna go ahead, we already sold two of them. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to their name, to the customer's name. And we're basically gonna go home, wash a few cars, post up some more stuff and then uh, try to uh, edit some videos by the end of today. Okay, so this is for the 1100 cord that I bought for 6000 like a week and a half ago. Guess how much the dealer bought it? $4,500 and they sold it to me for 6000 That's crazy. Whoever, the original owner, whoever sold this car to the dealer, they could have made a lot more money off it, man. We got a customer came down all the way from San Diego, or actually all the way up from San Diego to come check out this car. They bought it. Uh, we went ahead and did all the paperwork so he can drive it home. I got to get him the plates for it tomorrow. We're just cleaning out all the stuff in it. Um, so yeah, he can, he's gonna take it. I'm gonna miss this car because I actually do enjoy driving it. But we're gonna go ahead and use this money to go buy another one for tomorrow. So we got rid of the car, onto the next. We're waiting for tomorrow, Saturday. Tomorrow's gonna be a Thursday. So we're gonna go ahead and try to bid on some cars so we can resell it. But there he goes. Took me, I think this one took me a little while because of the high mileage, but uh, overall it took me about like three weeks for the car. But anyways, if you guys like what you guys see, do me a favor, click the like button and the subscribe if you guys are, haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.